<laughs> I don't know what happened. I think I hit the record button. Go ahead. Um, Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brother. Mark the hills and cause the bishops. And those fences contrary to the doctrine that you have learned. And avoid them. That doesn't mean I'm doing less than that. You know, like you just cut them all up after they don't prove that their, con their, 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 their very existence is contrary to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You want to, oh, come on, let's go get a drink now together. No, no. The scripture says, mark them and then avoid them. <laughs> literally. And that's fucking literal, man. You know? For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah, but their own belly. You know? God damn it. You know these motherfuckers' bellies are still these people. This is trash. <laughs> now I just can't get it screwed in. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Third one. Nice. Yeah, hopefully someone got killed. This ain't nothing, man, because even the ambulance that they come will be looking for the ambulance. This is kill, <laughs> this is kill Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, this last week was just a, a shoot em up gallery. I know. Yeah. I it's, 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 every day in Columbus, Ohio, is shoot em up gallery. Every day it's just they mention in the news. Yeah. They ain't trying to let the public know it's all really out of hand. Nothing they can do about it, man. But it's gonna get to the point that you won't see it. You know what I'm saying? That's where these scriptures is going. It's gonna get to the point where you gonna just you gonna look out your window, you're gonna be hearing you're gonna be seeing shit, man. It's gonna get totally out of hand. attacks, little things here and there, showing you what times we're living in, man. These people ain't still going about their day like it's... I got a scripture for that. Every day, every, just going about their business, man, not even care. That's that song for you. You hear the oh, U.S. Embassy open in Jerusalem this morning? You hear the violence that was happening before it happened? They probably get more. Why right now? Why we talking? They, they, they might be stupid. Right what do they call that march? They call it the return march. What is it? Sorry. They are just the Palestinians. Yeah, open yeah, the yeah it is open, open today. That was yeah. over there. It's going to ignite what's going to happen over here. That is true. Yeah. That's just the way it's going to work. Everything that's going on over there is going to come here. <laughs> Period. And worse. And far worse. Because the Most High is saving. Because America is known as the. We should get that. Bad motherfucker on the planet. It's the only, they claim that's only superpower. Well, the, the Lord built this motherfucker up as a massive superpower it is, so he, he can destroy it. So he's saving the good, you know, when you, well, this is what I do when I mean ice cream got cherries in them. I save that cherry till it's done. You know what I'm saying? We're saving that sweet cherry for the last, man. And that's America getting wiped out. This place is in fucking trouble, man. In trouble, man. And those that ain't got the name of the Lord, and they've been calling on the name of the Lord and not Jesus, not Jeebus. They in trouble, literally, literally, man. In trouble, man. I got, I got children, you know, my wife, you know. For your natural loved ones, man, of course you want them to be safe, man. That's the only way, right? It's the only way, man. It's the only way, you know. The truth, the truth. You're not your local Baptist minister. That guy? <laughs> oh, he pimping. Yeah, he, he got a Cadillac, he got a plane, a Lexus, got the, got the big truck, too. A big old bag of cocaine. <laughs> and, and the collection for this week is the pay for his STD that he got. Yeah, right, right, right. Hey, wait, there was a person that just came out that had all kind of STD. Get the man, oh shit, which way? Yeah, there's a, I forget. It was in the news not too long ago. <laughs> he, he, like, infected half his congregation. That's crazy. That's oh, crazy. that's scripture, too. Hold on, you think? Uh, uh, Samuel, Samuel, check this out. Damn, he burnt his. <laughs> yeah, I forget. I forget where it was. It was a, a couple months back or something. Uh, uh, all right, man. Yeah, all right, man. Okay, man. Ooh. Oh. Why are you looking for that? I'm gonna get a scripture. So we ain't got no dead space in here. I was gonna read this earlier because this go with everything going to what we was talking about. 
But Psalms 49 and 11, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. That's what all these people think. That their way of life is going to continue forever unchanged. Okay. Y'all see what's going on in the Middle East? They about to ship half of y'all asses off the war. Get ready for all these young bucks out here. Sorry for you. Get ready for them body bags. They're going to be zipping them up. Call y'all zipper heads. Uh, Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And that's what they did in America. They changed the names of it. This is not called the land of America. When the Native Americans lived here, they didn't call this America. But that's what uh, so-called white man does. He goes to all the nations. He changes all the names of all the countries. Find that scripture yet? No, man. I haven't seen the scripture in a minute. How you doing, man? Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this, thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly. That's like I told you earlier. I was talking to people about my job shit. I was like, I'm telling about the. Uh, Israel and Iran situation. They don't, don't know about it. They don't even know about it. Yeah. They can't find Israel on a map. Like, what's that got to do with me? That's over there. That ain't, that ain't gonna happen over here. <laughs> Idiot. Right. Stupid. Like, who's the biggest ally to uh, Israel? America. Who's the biggest ally to Iran? Uh, Russia. Russia? <laughs> do they like each other? We well, got Russia uh, ch uh, battleships chasing around the USS uh, Truman aircraft carrier in the Mediterranean right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I told, I told, yeah. One, yeah. I told yeah. some other dude. The, um, like 1,500 missiles of uh, the China missiles facing uh, some something of America. So that's, that can't happen. It would have been on the news or some shit. Like, idiot. It was on the news. I tell you, people are just careless, man. People are just stupid. Man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? This is right. that there's that like a dwellest carelessly that says in thy heart, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. That's that uh, flocky, but that's that uh, strong delusion. The Lord gave the, the the elite, the rulers of the earth. He gave them a strong delusion. They think that they, they're God. They can't be stopped. Like we said, man, this place stinks because it has that military, which is a trillion dollars a year spending. You know, they, they, they think it can't be touched. And look at the Americans. They, you know. Oh, I didn't say, ma'am. I don't know what I said, but I want to talk to you. Uh, we, we, we actually talking to each other for the camera set. It's all, all this is being recorded. Are we talking to you too? All this, right, right, everybody right, want to listen. Because this message is for everybody. It's right. But we actually, we, we upload these videos to the internet so people can learn from it. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, well, okay. It's like the message is for you also. Because you're an Israelite, right? You're an Israelite. You know you're an Israelite, right? Right. You're not niggas. Or African American. Or black people. <laughs> you know, like what people like to be called. We like to be called everything under the sun except from what of, of what we really are, even Israelites. Yep. You know, for whatever twelve tribes we from, we are the Israelites. <laughs> and there's no doubt about that. There ain't no doubt. There ain't no doubt. There ain't no either. Like 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 the confusion of faces. Ain't no doubt there either though. Well, it really ain't. You know it's, what I'm saying? Hey, the spirit bears witness. It's just as plain as a man that has the so-called black skin. I mean, I guess that's just us. <laughs> Our eyes is just open. Yeah, I can, you know, period. But I don't know. It's a mystery, bro. I mean, the the I don't Lord. I know who's saying something. I don't even know what you're talking about now. But you saying something about it. Oh, but I got that scripture, though. What dude was talking about. This is a first Samuel 2 and, um, uh, and 21. And the Lord visited her <laughs> so that she conceived of their three sons and two daughters. And the child Samuel grew before the Lord. Now Eli was very old and heard all that his sons did unto all Israel, and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle. Of the oh yeah, I forgot about that. Right, right, right. That's yeah. that scripture. Oh yeah, because right yeah, earlier we was talking, you confused. But we was talking about how you know the preachers are having sex with half their congregation. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And that's 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 one of the, the perks of being a preacher. Is you, you get all the all the women, all the pass, money. And they mind. Yeah, he gets a pass for adultery because he's a man of God. Right. And that's really pointing at Nathan and how they um, you know he's breaking people's marriages and relationships up and giving it to a so-called brother. That's crazy, man. They be having some fine women in there, too. Fine women. 
they look beautiful. But I got that picture. I don't know if I showed y'all. But just because someone's beautiful don't mean they're very smart or intelligent. Don't, mean that, that, don't, don't even mean she's righteous or clean. Because you know what Jake, Jake, you know how men are. We see the woman. We, she's so beautiful. She's so pure and innocent. And she fucking cheats on you. Sends you a picture of her sucking someone else's dick. You know? <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we encourage y'all to record. Upload it to YouTube. I don't know if I showed you. That's her she is, how you want to see? You look crazy as hell. Yeah, she's crazy. This is a scripture that says, uh, um, favorite to see for beauty is vain, but she that fear for glory shall pray. Uh, she that fear for glory shall pray. That sounds like a song. Where was that at? Proverbs 30. Proverbs 30. Oh, yeah, that's all the whole Proverbs 30. Jeremiah 5, some of the pastors in the book of women shit. Jeremiah 5 and 7 read loudly. How shall I pardon these for this? For this, for thy children have forsaken me and have sworn by them that are no gods. When I have fed them to the fool, they have committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the heartless houses. That's those churches, bro. Hey, the real church is you. You're the real church. You're the real temple. Your body's the temple of the Most High. Your spirit. Yeah, true, true, true. You ain't call me a troop. I ain't no goddamn troop. I'm a fucking. I'm a. I'm an Israelite. Right. Them same evil spirits. We're back. Now. Yeah. Same evil spirits. That's that. Uh. That's that. Uh, uh, Everybody uh, like to call it. Hey. Hey. We're at a. All dirty. Have you ever, 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 in your long-headed wife had a bald-headed bitch for a bald-headed wife? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, 30 was on point with that song. I ain't never heard it, man. I told you I went. I saw a ghost face. Last week I went to the ghost face concert. Oh, wow. And goddamn Killer Priest was there. Ghostface was dead. He ain't dead. Wow. He was actually, I'll give it to him. He, he was the best performer I'd ever seen. But uh, Killer Priest was there. And I he recognized me. Because everybody knows who I am. But he, uh, I. I was just shaking my head at him. You don't kill a priest, right? You know how the brothers are cursing him out. I seen him. I can't. It was so loud I couldn't talk to him. Or he, I just kept shaking my head in disappointment at him. Who's that? Old Uh, yeah, Newport. And Killer Priest was even singing Happy. It was a ghost. It was Ghost uh, Birthday. And Killer Priest was singing Happy Birthday. <laughs> He's supposed to be an Israelite, bro. Sing a happy birthday on some worldly shit. Man, the spirit got on me to buy that ticket though, you know? I was like, man, I went by myself. I ain't never went to a concert by myself. That's very awkward going to a concert by yourself. But it wasn't number old ass people in there. You don't know, none of these young kids listen to no Wu Tang clan. They listen to that mumble rap shit. Okay. So that, that all they rap about is uh, popping Xanax. I like I was watching Vlad TV, and they said back in the '80s and '90s rappers rapped about selling drugs, but now they rap about doing drugs. That's crazy. Now the cool thing is to be a fucking junkie. Oof. It's like you ain't cool now unless you popping Xanax and drinking lean every day. That, that's what makes you cool now is to be a fucking junkie. No exception. What's that nigga name? Chief Keep. Said hate being sober. Yeah. I like your boy, Fredo Santana, just uh, died because he couldn't get off the lead. He was the top rapper out of Chicago. Fredo Santana, the, he got, he, you thought he died, he got shot, nah, he, the lean got him. How a gangster went out off some lean, you know? How stupid can you be to like, kill yourself? You know what I'm saying? He went in the hospital too because his kidneys failed and shit from the lean. He said, I'm never doing it again, started doing it again. That's that, that's that opioid, it's the codeine. That's just addictive as fuck. That's why, once you want it, you're done. What they, they mix it with alcohol? They, well, they, they mix it with Sprite. Yeah, right. That's just a thousand dollar bottle. It's probably Sprite for a specific reason. It probably calls a chemical reaction for what's his name. Probably problem. so. You know? Jake, Jake Clapper, man, when it comes to getting a car. Yeah, I, I don't... You know? I, I've drank some lean, lean before, bro. Some lean. Well, if somebody snuck me some lean, I didn't know... They well, what is lean, though? What's it? It's, it's, it's codeine. It's, that, with, it's cough syrup codeine. Mixed with 
But they take the the co the cough the codeine cough syrup costs like a thousand dollars a bottle for the good shit, and, and they just mix it with some soda or something. You buy that shit like, nah, you gotta uh, get that shit off. Prescription. Yeah, you gotta know somebody. That's fucking. There's so many now. The rapper is getting real expensive since all the famous rappers are on that shit. Now everybody wants to do it. Cause that is all monkey see monkey do out here, man. No, nobody has really a mind of their own. They just want to be accepted and be cool, you know? It's like, we're like, fuck, we don't want to be accepted. Why we want to be accepted by a bunch of fucking goddamn heathens? Yep. Devils. Yeah, devil. Our own people are devils. What the fuck? Oh, we was talking about uh, earlier. He that still is a man himself. This is proof to the Israel. Our own people are a bunch of devils. The, uh, even though the Lord set it up, the, uh, Judah and his brothers, they, they sold their brother Joseph into slavery. That's going all the way back at the beginning. <laughs> Israel was doing some fucked up shit. That's some fucked up shit. You know the Lord set it up like that through the Spirit. Yeah, they, they, they wanted to kill him like that. Yeah, Ezra always been hard headed, man, always. Wasn't the Jew the only one that really was like thought about it? Yeah, you need to reread it. I read like a couple days ago. I read a couple days ago. I know Ruben, he's like, don't do it, don't kill him. And I think Judah was like, something I forgot what he said. That's, that's like that, that crucifixion is like, reading that story would like bring tears to your eyes, man. And he showed mercy at that point. That's the spirit. He said, hey, Dream said, uh, pretty much the Dream got all the bad ounces. They were like, they were jealous of him, like, the bad ounces. That's why they yeah. did it to him. And at the end, he was, he, they made him the head of, uh, of uh, Egypt. And he was like acting, you know, like he was, like he didn't do him and shit. Pretty much at the end, they all bowed to him, asked for mercy. Yeah, that's, that's the man, that story right there, that gets me every time. Like, you can start choking up reading that. Uh, numbers 35 and 32, and ye shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that it is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Yep. So the only way that America can be cleansed is by the blood of them that shed the blood. And you can figure out who that is in your own head. He that leadeth into ca captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's called justice. That's called balance. That's called righteousness. You know, street term, payback. Payback. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> yeah, revenge. And revenge belongs to the Lord. So the Lord gonna have his vengeance. You ain't gonna sit there and uh, uh, enslave the Lord's people, kill the Lord's people, treat them like shit, and think you're gonna get away with it. It ain't it don't it don't work like that. The scriptures say that too, how they think so what are, oh, what are they Lord didn't judge them so much time to pass. That's why we out here doing this work, man. What are Psalms? What are these? What are these? Psalms. Uh, I mean, no, what are they? What do you mean? I mean, I'm asking, what are they? It's a camera. A video camera, Sony uh, Handycam. Are you recording right now? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we make lessons so brothers can no, learn. No, 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 no. I just asked what yeah. they are. That's, that's, no, you good. That ain't nothing new though. Right, same old thing. Same old, same old. That gives give us a better chance to get saved than they are. Now we gonna do this work, man. We, we done seen what the Lord can do to you if you don't do this work. So it's on you, man. If you don't, if you don't want to do the work of the Lord, hey, do what you do. You do you, I'm gonna do me. Break a leg. Enjoy the missiles. Break a leg. They gonna break a neck. They gonna break a neck. <laughs> Psalms 149 and 6, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Punishments on the people. So that punishment's going to come. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful scripture right there. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles. You see that says? Fire. The scripture said they're going to bind it. Who's a modern day king? Is presidents, congressmen. Oh, bankers. Y'all didn't know bankers are actually kings. Y'all didn't know that. Like the, the so-called Jews, the fake Jews that own them banks. They the ones who are actually running shit. Money controls everything. You best believe that. Oh, go ahead. There we go. This is Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his word shall be. Hey, every, every man. <laughs> so if your works is an evil work, you'll get your reward, you know, according to your evil work. Yep. It's beautiful, man. Really Back is. to this one. So you know, to find their kings will change their words. Execute upon them the judgment written. This honor hath all the saints. Praise you, the Lord. All the saints and the saints are the Israelites. Yeah. To all the saints. Because this is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is blood shed. We just. I was about to say, though, they always got to make jokes, bro. The we the saints, and everybody else is the ain'ts. You know what I mean? You got the saints and you got the ain'ts. Yep, the heathens, if you're not an Israelite, you an ain't. They, they, they known as heathens too. Heathens. Two thirds. Yeah, two thirds. Matthew's are, the Lord called them. Yeah, he did. He called them heathens. You're liking them to heathen. If you're not, because if, if you could actually be an Israelite, but if you act like a heathen, we going we just going the Lord going to treat you like a heathen. You know, we'll treat, we'll talk to you like heathen. Like heathens. Yeah, right. Good. They eat like the heathens. Eating swine's flesh. Like heathens. Everybody out of shape. More to the gods of the heathens, following after the customs, their ways. It's, ne it's never ended. And actually, they make the heathens look bad, man. They surpass the, the, the heathens. Oh, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> he look, he did the double take. <laughs> he look like Jamie Foxx's son. You guys, you guys are doing a good job. Right? All right, brother. Okay. Just, just, just remember what the ball said. I'll bring the Gentiles. Oh, damn. There you go. Those are Israelites. That's I'll bring the Gentiles. Which are Israelites that were scattered among the nations. I'll bring the Gentiles. Don't make me get the scripture. Two more Gentiles. Two more Gentiles. All right, brother, look. Chosen people are the Jews. The Gentiles are all the rest of us. That's not true. Listen, Matthew 15 to 24. Now listen, though. This is real truth, bro. Listen. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but... Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's red letters. Okay. He said, oh, he's paying for this. He said, what is that? No, no, no. You got to check that Bible, boy. You got to trick Bible. I'm telling you something. I was just messing with you. Go ahead. I know you are. He said the New Testament. Yes, the New Testament. It's the Lord himself. The New Testament. It's red letters. Why did the Lord say that? What was Paul? What was his nationality? He's an Israelite. You an Israelite. Are you a Gentile? No, you're not. You're an Israelite. Actually, you are a Gentile. Most likely, you're from the tribe of Judah. Who would want to claim to be a heathen? But I'm a proud heathen. Yeah, probably was. He got a little bit. I said I couldn't figure it out. I just first thing popped my head. He black and Judah. He's a noble. Matthews 18 to 17. And he, and if he shall neglect to hear them, he's like, yeah, yeah. Couldn't hear you? Nah. He wasn't trying to. Right, as soon as I read that Matthew 15 to 24, he's like, hold on, hold on, what kind of, what, hold on, what is that at? What, 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 what that, yeah. <laughs> it's Matthew 18 17. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, oh, sure. the church. Yo. Let him be unto thee, us, us. as an heathen. Oh, what's the I gotta remember that. Matthews 18 and 17. Oh, that's 18. I remember that heathen. I know 18 too. I just didn't remember that one. Heathens! 18 and what? 18 and 17. 18 and 17. Oh, that's easy. 18 and 17. So they are heathens. So we look at these niggas like the Hamites? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ever since Lil Wayne blew up, everybody started wearing dreads. You've never seen Jake except for Benjamin Mike's wearing dreads. Right, first it started with Alan Iverson with the tattoo. Oh, yeah, Alan did. Yeah. So then it transformed up even worse, man. Yeah, Alan Iverson brought the plague to the NBA. Hey, that's why they came up with that dress code. Yeah, because of Alan Iverson. Mm -hmm. And really, that's racist, though, really. This is a racist. Yeah. They're slaves, man. They, they literally get traded. Yeah. Like, I'm going to trade you for this guy. Slavery. The, the NCAA is definitely slavery. They're making billions of dollars off them athletes, bro. And they ain't giving them shit. They, these athletes got to go rob people to eat. They make it far more money in college. The college, college athletes. Especially in Columbus. Mm -hmm. People watch the bucket. Put it this way. You're right. Who? The college football stadiums are bigger than NFL stadiums. That's right, twice as big. Twice as big. Twice the, the Ohio State stadium seats about 110,000. The biggest NFL stadium is about, what, 80, 90, something like that? Uh, 67. Yeah, it's not, it's not that big at all. The average is about that age, about 50, 67. Yep. They're small. Yep. Pittsburgh upgraded when they built their, when a lot of like Dallas Cowboys started to trend, upgrade their stadiums so, so they can compete with money. So they can pay players and everybody else bought the suit. And their scrapes and failures a little bigger. So they like 70s now. Yeah. Getting paid. Getting paid. College is way big. How big, is, how big is the big house? That's so big. That's, that's 114. It's bigger than our state. Yeah. Texas too. Texas is big too. Yeah, well, Michigan got the biggest. Yeah, they got it. Every time another college they add, a little. add on, everybody add on. They like, you ain't beat none. <laughs> that Michigan state, it looks like it's in the ground. Yeah, it does look dumb though, yeah. Right. That shit look terrifying, actually. Yeah, it looks like an actual crowd. That shit crazy. That's the Roman Colosseum. Yeah, yeah. Kind of give you the illusion of a cathedral or some shit. They, they designed to keep that noise and all that shit in there. That shit crazy. Yeah, I, I tell I, I advise y'all go to at least one college it. game just so you can experience it. I, I hate this, man. I hate going to football games. The like Ooh. going up the steps, you feel like you got a fall. Back. Yeah. 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 So actually, you get a better view on TV, to be honest with you. Yeah, you watch TV, bro. They give you stats and everything. You in the game, you just... What happened? <laughs> you don't know what the fuck's yeah, going on. Like, I went to uh, yeah. Ohio State. It was like scrimmage, whatever the fuck. You know, it wasn't a lot of people there, I think. But the people down there look all small and shit. You got to look at a big-ass screen. You can actually see. Yeah, you actually, you watching the screen instead of the fucking... It's cool, it's cool, it's weird. It is. That's funny though. Like you know that slavery though. Here is the fake Jews. They the ones who own all the leagues. Goodell is a Jew. Aaron Silver looks like goddamn Nosferatu. Dracula from Nosferatu. He's a so. His last name is Silver. Them fucking so-called Jews. They always give him the last names like Goldstein, <laughs> Silverstein, Silver. Uh, what's that one? Sterling. You know, he got, because they're all racist. They came out with, what's his name, Donald Sterling? The old owner for the Clippers. He was a racist piece of shit. They're all like that, though. They just had to, uh, he was a scapegoat, because somebody had to get scapegoated, you know? But yeah, the NBA's pretty, even though they're paying the play, oh, it's not slavery to get paid millions of dollars. They don't, if you get traded somewhere, that means you gotta move, get a new house, relocate, and you don't get no say in that. No. None. Your ass gets traded like you was a fucking commodity on the stock market, like you was a cattle or a fucking, you know? And I seen this one athlete, I forget his name, years ago, man, back in early 2000s or something. I seen this one athlete, fuck, I forget, man, I forget his name, I gotta look it up. But he was going through the training, uh, what's that shit they do when you go work out before the draft? Yeah, the combine. He went to the combine, and he said, "I felt like a piece of meat." On, he, he said he felt like a slave on the slave auction. He's like, I, "I can't do this." 